Uh, hey, we got an update for you. Remember that story we brought you yesterday? Porn popping up on a billboard a little north of Detroit. Uh, we told you about it in our blotter yesterday. Well, uh, drivers in Auburn Hills, Michigan, again, they got an, an eyeful here. Uh, is this Saturday night? The billboard's playing porn. Here's one guy, uh, seemed pretty happy with it all. I kind of almost got in an accident. Came across the billboard, and it was something unusual. Um, saw two girls, you know, you know, lesbian porn. You can kind of see people will start to break a lot behind me because I think they were doing the same thing, like a double take. You don't see that every day. I think that guy's still smiling. So who did it? Police have some solid evidence as to what happened. Here's our affiliate, WDIV. I've never, one, heard of this happening anywhere before. First, porn playing on a billboard by the freeway. Then this surveillance video of two people breaking into the shack below the billboard to upload pornographic images. And in this particular incident, uh, we had a local billboard basically run by a system on site that is not staffed with anybody. Uh, which obviously creates the perfect storm where somebody was able to have access to it. Wearing hazmat-like disguises, Auburn Hills police say these two broke into the shack and uploaded porn to a laptop that displays images on that billboard. The initial reaction was, how do we shut this thing down? Auburn Hills police started getting calls around 11 Saturday night about porn playing on the billboard along I-75 near M-59. Within 30 minutes, police were in contact with the company that was able to remotely disable the billboard. We're concerned, one, that this video was played on the freeway billboard of all things, displayed out to people that I'm sure took exception to what they saw that night. The billboard is owned by the Toronto-based company Triple Investment Group, which acquired the single billboard when it purchased the Silver Dome. The company is cooperating with police. Now investigators are hoping you'll do the same. We want to uh, seek the public's help in trying to identify these two individuals responsible. What turned out to be uh, maybe a prank or a funny joke just became a little more serious by breaking into a building. Well, police say that salacious sideshow played for nearly 20 minutes before it was finally turned off.